quite often, if you're if you're the if you're the founder, you know the entrepreneur, uh, you always have um, every founder both has some some kind of blend of messiah syndrome, but also um, uh, imposter syndrome. Right. Oh yeah. Well, so yeah. so so and, it, and like the dial is moving all the time between Messiah. Like I know all the fucking answers, and how dare anyone challenge me? Uh, and then the other one is imposter syndrome. I don't really know what I'm doing. I haven't done this before. You know, I'm really worried because we're running out of money, uh, and it's just a shit show. The whole thing, and it's and what am I going to do? And I don't really know how to ask. You know the question. And when you're when you're in the that that side of the dial, um, you know, it, you you can hire people because you think, oh, well, they've done. You know, this guy has been the operations director of 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 Weather Spirits, right? Or you know, Mitchelson Butler, uh, another huge pub co, uh, and so he must know what he's doing, right? He has to. You know, he's done it before, and I don't know what I'm doing because I'm just making it up, right? Uh, and then the guy comes in and and and, and you know, he 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 tried to your point. He kind of wrecks it because he tries to make re- remake it in his own way. And you're kind of like standing off. You're going, I'm just going to let this guy run it. And obviously, yeah. I, I everything I've done is shit, and everything he's going to do is brilliant. Uh, and of course, he understands the brand and everything else. Of course, he gets the team. Uh, and then it's all horrible, and you end up firing him. Uh, oh. And 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 you, you you get into a huge, you know, huge like, you know, just massive clusterfuck. Uh, and then you have to somehow get out of that situation, get some of the people back who've left, you know, that kind of pull it all back together again, uh, if you can, or maybe you go bust, you know, and at that point. So I think that is that, 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 you know, whereas Richard instinct, but first of all, is humble. So he, so as a person, uh, so he listened. Uh, I think he realized quite quickly a lot of what I was saying was shit, but, but, you know, he still listened. And then he, he was very respectful of the brand, uh, and uh, and but together, you know, the 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 two of us, uh, and then later RFD, you know, we did we did make it a better business, you know, through systematizing it, but also through being respectful. The brands are evolving things over time, not wrecking the whole thing on day one, not trying to completely change everything day one. So yeah, I think it was. I think you could go, you know, but but hiring the right person and. There, there is always go, probably always going to be an element of luck in that mm. because, you know, a lot of people are very impressive in interview and they might have great references, but they may not actually just be the right guy mm. for whatever reason. Mm. And you need, there's, there's, there's like, you need the right guy for every role if you're going to be successful. Mm. It's scary how much you need that. You can't have people who are a bit shit or not quite right. Uh, and then and then you have that, the, the, the other dial on that is, Okay, so left side of the dial is I give them a chance and see see how they do. Maybe maybe they can they can get a bit better. Right side of the dial is fucking fire them right now, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's a rough dial that one because you don't know. And the longer they're there, that person who's not quite right, the more everyone who works with them is like getting pissed off. Uh, yeah. And if they're not improving, it's like it's cancer. And then you just think, yeah. Why didn't I do that? Yeah. But you don't know. Some people turn around. So it's difficult. And making those decisions is difficult. What you said about the 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 pendulum swinging, and I think it you've hit this you've so hit the nail on the head, Charlie, with the with this Messiah versus um versus imposter, imposter syndrome. I mean, I feel like I feel like that pretty much every day. Yeah. Whereas woman I'm like, I know exactly what I'll fucking do in the next room. Yeah. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> and, <what's that? laughs> um, and so so but I think I, I think brands start and there's a huge, healthy, big dosage of naivety. And I really believe brands are a bit like um I see the brand progression as like a as a as a journey of almost like a, a toddler growing up. So as a as a toddler, you're super curious, you walk around, try stuff, da 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 da. And then as you get older, i.e. scale, you almost become like that insecure 30-year-old at the school disco, i.e. the imposter syndrome, the hot licks of imposter syndrome come piling in. Mm. And you're like, fucking hell, like someone else, like someone tell me what to do, like tell me what to dress like, tell me what to... And I've seen that happen. And then the as you say, and this is what, as you say, the pendulum swings because it's 
one minute the founders are like, right, this person's coming in from wherever and they're going to set a pace on fire. We'll listen to them. And then, but then, then they've got to defend the team of, of the old guard, i.e., and be the messiah a bit. And it's, you get this, as you say, cluster, cluster fire truck, whatever we said. And, um, I think what's what, what you said, I'm, I'm really trying to get into the nuance of so many people listening to this will be trying to, will be going on that journey. Yes. And as you say, if you don't get the right person in the right role, then it could go bust. So, so with with um, Richard, you, you said he was super humble. So that's a good thing to look for. He listened. Tough as nails. I mean, I, 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 Richard, Richard's I, it ears will be burning. Uh, I'll, I'll have to tell him that, that he's being mentioned, uh, and we'll see what he thinks about it. But he, but he, he's a tough guy, but he was humble, you know, uh, in the sense that he listened. Um, and uh, and you know, together, you know, we made we made that we made we 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 made the business what it was. Um, what was your Messiah slash imposter syndrome like? How did you navigate that as the founder? Um, I well, I definitely thought, and I and I only really realised this quite a long time after I sold the business. I definitely thought that I was the only person who could run the business. Right. I thought there was something special about me. You know, in terms of. I don't know tone of voice and on on copy. I, mean, I wrote all the copy, for yeah, example, yeah. in the business, and I thought that I only I had the right tone of voice in the copy, and no one else could do it. Whenever anyone else did it, it was shit. Uh, and you know that I was, even though, you know, I've been talking about, you know, how you delegate and how you how you create systems to allow the business to grow. I was still in everything, so there was no decision that I wasn't it. Mm. You know. I mean, that's 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 of course a huge exaggeration. I mean, I wasn't ordering every pound to be a supplier, but yeah. but any 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 decision, particularly one that I thought was a fun decision, like we had to get involved, and even if it was someone else's job to make the decision, it was like, yeah, I'll deal, I'll deal with this. You know, this is really this is going to be really cool. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get involved here and just throw my weight around. You know, uh, and uh, I mean, there's a there's a great uh, uh, I was I was I was talking. A friend of mine runs a coaching business. Uh, she she. She has uh, like twelve. Making this up, she's got twenty five coaches, and so she really, she really knows about all this stuff. Uh, she said, um, what, one, of, "One of the one of the questions you need to ask a founder of a business is, um, is uh, do you want to be rich or do you want to be king?" Uh, and uh, the, the when you when you work with someone, it's interesting. I mean, not obviously, once again, you know, talking about the dial or the pendulum, no, nobody's exclusively one or the other. But but um, you know, King is someone who has a court. Uh, you know, everyone's around them is is looking up to them. They make all the decisions. It's top down. It's like Putin's mm. Putin's army. You know, ultimately, you know, there's no decision making going on on the ground. Um, it's all being made. It's all top down. You know, yeah. uh, and it's no delegation. Uh, and uh, and there's also a, a big ego thing going on, right? Uh, whereas rich is how do we make this business incredibly uh, efficient and scalable so that it can grow uh, and I can make lots of money and every decision I make is going to be about how do I make more money mm. out of this business. Uh, of course, that can also kill the business. Because if you're if you're forgetting to the earlier to the earlier conversation, if you're forgetting about you know the soul of the business, which you know, the brand or whatever, if if you if you make too many sacrifices on that front, um, you can lose it. So I think I think these are all these are all interesting things to think about when you're either when you're thinking about investing in a business or helping a business in some way or running a business. You know, what am I? What 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 are my instincts? And and if I was to go under a bus tomorrow. What would happen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, uh, and uh, that—that is—that's—it's a good question to ask yourself. 